What's up my beautiful entrepreneurs? Are you looking for a face oil? Something that's lightweight and not too heavy on the skin? Well then this might be the face oil for you. And I even have a really special ingredient to add into this as well. This is a really great face oil to pair with your face creams or any of your cleansers. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the video. Now face oils are a really great product to have, especially if you're selling facial products, because when it comes to face oils, this can be really great for a lot of people's skin. This is also a really lightweight oil that can work really well with multiple skin types. Now, when it comes to adding oil to your face, this is something that a lot of people kind of shy away from, but if you have really oily skin, a lot of times that is due to not having enough moisture on your skin, and having a face oil will really help to aid in that. Uh, also, with a lot of these oils that I'm going to be using in this formula, they also do help to mimic the oil that your skin already naturally is making. So this is going to be a really great facial oil for multiple people people and this is a really great oil to add onto your line. Now first up with this formula we're going to be using apricot kernel oil. Now apricot kernel oil is a really lightweight oil and it also has a bit of a slight yellowish tint to it. It doesn't have much of a scent either which is really great for this formula um, but we're going to be using um, apricot kernel oil because of how lightweight it is. Apricot kernel oil also really helps to replenish your skin and really help to aid in more hydration to your skin so when it comes to adding this into your facial oil it's really going to help just enhance your skin a little bit more and really help to hydrate your skin overall and with apricot kernel oil we're going to be using this at 30 percent of the overall formula then we're going to have our big star when it comes to this facial oil and that is going to be pumpkin seed oil now pumpkin seed oil is a great oil especially for your face because of how lightweight it is but i do want to mention that it does have a dark like a dark yellowish greenish tint to it so this is a color that is going to be a pretty strong when it comes to this pumpkin seed oil but this is going to be a pumpkin seed oil that is really all natural it's an organic um, pumpkin seed oil and i'll have the link down below for the exact one that i use but i think this is a really great high quality oil um, it comes in a really great pump bottle that's really easy to use e really easy when it comes to measuring out your products as well now for the overall texture of this pumpkin seed oil is that it's really lightweight it's really moisturizing on your skin as well all, all by itself itself and it just really glides onto your skin nicely it's really easy to use and you don't feel very it doesn't feel very heavy on your skin like you're wearing a lot of um, oil or like you really have any moisturizer on your skin to begin with so this is a really great oil to use when it comes to a facial product now also with pumpkin seed oil it's going to help with acne it's going to help with any dark spots as well and clearing your acne and really just giving you a more youthful look as well and with this pumpkin seed oil we're going to be using this in at 50% of the overall formula. I'm using this at 50% because I really want the pumpkin seed oil to shine through. I really want this to show as a um, more all-natural organic oil that you can use on on your skin. All right so let's get into the next ingredient. This is going to be jojoba oil. Now now when it comes to jojoba oil this is going to be a wonderful oil because it's really great in comparison to your skin's natural oils and really um, being great in comparison to how your skin naturally uh, creates oils and that feel that your skin gets with your natural oils now this is great because it makes it non-greasy and it also makes it easy to absorb into your skin as well so this is a really great oil when you are wanting to use it for your face and use it for acne because it's going to mimic your skin's natural oils and it's going to really help to clear your pores and unclog your pores as well and just making your skin a lot smoother and nicer as well so i would definitely be using uh, jojoba oil and we'll have this in at 20 percent of the overall formula now you have to let me know down below are you more interested in using facial oils or do you just like to use moisturizers either or but let me know why down below now the next ingredient we're going to have is 
argan oil. Now argan oil is really great for your skin because again, this is another lightweight oil. I know we have a big theme going on with the lightweight oils, but when it comes to your face, you don't want heavy oils on your on your skin because your skin your, on your face is a lot more sensitive than the rest of your body and too thick of oils can really clog your pores and that can really cause you to have massive breakouts. So using facial oils that are very lightweight is the, is the biggest key when it comes to face oils. So definitely never have anything too heavy within your formula. And we'll have this in at 10%. Once you have all of your measurements for each of your oils, you're just gonna pour them all together into one and allow them just to all marry together and you're gonna mix them very well. These are all really lightweight oils, so they are going to, they're going to mix into each other fairly easily. When it comes to thicker oils, a lot of times you have to let them sit for a little bit longer in order for the cloudiness to go away. But with these lightweight oils, there isn't really any cloudiness at all and they all mix together very easily. Now, when it comes to the storing of this facial oil, it is very crucial to make sure that you do add it into a, a dark bottle like I have here. And I have this in a glass dark bottle and it's a dropper bottle. One, to make it easier to apply to your face or just to add a few drops to your hands and then apply it to your face just to make it a lot easier for application. But you definitely wanna use a darker bottle because this really helps to prevent light from deteriorating the oils and it allows for the oils to last a lot longer as well. When it comes to making your facial oils, a lot of times you can really get away with selling these in small quantities. Um, I would definitely sell this in a two ounce dropper bottle um, because one, so a little bit is gonna go a long way. So people aren't going to be um, People are going to be using this often, but you do want them to come back and need more. You can also sell this in a two ounce or a four ounce to give people an option to have a bigger quantity, but it's also great to give people an option of a smaller quantity so that they can see if it's a facial oil that's gonna work for them to begin with, if it's not too oily for their skin, if it doesn't cause them to break out, because everyone's skin is different and your face is a very, very sensitive part of your body. So you just wanna make sure that people have more than one option when it comes to your facial oils. All right, so now for a bonus tip. If you really want to help level up this formula, I would add in 1% of lavender essential oil. Now, lavender is antimicrobial, which is going to help to remove acne from your skin, remove any bacteria of skin, which is going to aid in, you know, removing any acne from your skin as well. Uh, lavender is just a really great um, essential oil that's gonna really be soothing as well, really help with um, redness from acne. Now, if you don't want to use any, like any lavender or essential oil, I did add in the all natural fragrance oil from Brambleberry. I added in the pineapple fragrance. I think that really paired well with the pumpkin seed scent that's kind of already there and added in a little bit um, more sweetness to the earthiness of the pump pumpkin seed oil. So if you wanted to have something a little bit more fruity and fun, then you can use the like, use an all natural fragrance oil. I think when it comes to a facial product, it's better to either use an essential oil or use an all natural fragrance because you don't want to have uh, too many uh, synthetic fragrances to be near your skin skin or on your face to begin with. So having essential oil or having it on natural fragrance is your really best option when it comes to any facial products. Now that we have the face covered, let's get into the body with this beautiful glow of body oil that I have linked right here and I'll catch you in the next one.